welcome back to the amazing world of the computer networks. Okay, uh, in order to study the concepts that uh, we want to study in this subject, okay, as I know that most people don't have at home routers, switchers, lots of computers in order to, to practice with these concepts, I have developed uh, a simple simulator, okay, that it is not the most realistic one, but it will allow us to 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 practice with some of the concepts that we are going to work, right? So on this simulator, I can add uh, computers, okay, computer are hosts. I will add a couple of computers, okay, to the simulation, okay, and I will uh, link them right how do I link two different elements okay here I've got create link I click here I click here okay and it will tell me okay how do you create uh, do, how do you want to create this link okay each computer has an interface which is a plaque where we can insert a cable okay in this case this first computer okay which is called computer 11 because the names are more or less random right uh, this computer has one interface where we can plug a cable so I will select that okay, because I have no more and the other computer has another plug so I select it okay this way I insert the computer uh, the, the cable inside the plug I save and this way I have created a connection between the two computers. Okay, now I have uh, I have used a cable to link physically both computers, right? If I come here, I can also edit the name of the computer. Okay, so I will call this computer A, and uh, this is uh, not a real thing. Okay, real computers don't have this group thing, uh, but here I can use this group to organize the, the the elements inside my network if I give two or more elements the same name for example I will say here home and this other one will be computer B also at group home and I save right you can see that both names have changed and apart from that a box with name home has appeared okay enclosing the elements inside the same group okay this is nothing uh, real okay real computers don't have this thing but I can use that uh, group in order to organize the diagrams that uh, we will create as the simulations that we will create with the simulator apart from this I can save my simulations okay if I click save one file called network.json is going to be downloaded okay and if I reload and I click upload I can select the file or as I am in Chrome I can directly click here okay and if I click upload okay the, the network that I have created will appear again okay so we are going to work with this simulator as we saw in the previous video, okay, we have to give these two computers uh, their IP addresses. How can we do that in the simulator? Okay, here, I can edit the IP information for interface zero. Okay, if I have more than one interface, I will be able to change the IP address for each of them, right? Because each interface should have its IP address. In this case, okay, as I only have one, I come here. Okay, I can give this computer. IP address I will use 10.0.0.1 okay we will talk about private and public IP addresses later okay but let's use this IP address I will copy it okay network mask I will leave this one okay I, remember that we said that if the first three numbers in the network mask are 255 that means that if we want the other computer to be on the same network the first three numbers of its IP address, okay, must be the same ones, okay, must also be 10.0.0, right? So uh, we will talk about DNS later. So I save, here I've got my IP address, I edit the IP information for the second computer that will be 10.0.0.2, okay, I leave the same network mask and I save, and there we are. 
two computers on the same network connected with a cable. Can these two computers communicate with each other, talk to each other, only if they speak the same language? Okay. Uh, when we talk about computer networks, information is sent from one computer to another over the cables uh, encoded at the electric, uh, electrical signals or over the, over, uh, over the air, if we talk about Wi-Fi, as uh, electromagnetic waves, right? But uh, both computers must speak the same language, okay, in order to understand each other. On computer networks, these languages are called protocols, right? And we have different protocols for the different tasks that we can use. For example, there is one protocol called HTTP, which is used to browse, okay, to get web pages and, and visualize web pages. There is another protocol which is called FTP, which is a file transfer a transfer protocol used to transfer files uh, over the network. There are uh, protocols, for example, uh, if you use WhatsApp or, or uh, Telegram messaging applications, they have their protocols in order to send messages from one mobile phone to, to another. Uh, and, and that way if you play multiplayer games uh, over a network each game will have its protocol in order to send information to exchange information okay, among different computers uh, one protocol called SMTP is used to send emails okay, and that uh, we will find lots and lots of protocols uh, intended to be used for, with the different applications that we can uh, use on, on a network, right? One of those protocols is the ICMP protocol, which can be used to, to do uh, network diagnostics, okay? We can use that protocol to know whether there is a connection between two computers, right? Or uh, to know how many routers, okay, when, when we talk about routers, how many routers can we find between one computer and another, right? In this case, we are going to use that ICMP protocol on the simulator to see if these two computers can communicate to each other, right? The uh, ICMP protocol, okay, has a, has a command, okay, let's say that it has a command, which is the ping command, okay? In this protocol, if two, or uh, with this command, if two computers understand it, okay, one computer will try to send a ping, a message to another computer, and if the other computer gets that message and understands it because it understands the ICMP protocol, it will send an, an answer to the to the first computer telling it that it understood the message and that it is online. So that way we can know if two computers are connected, right? So how can we do that using our simulator? Here we've got a network diagnostics option, okay? So if from the first computer, okay, I clicked on the first computer so here, if I write the IP address of the second computer and I click ping, I will post this, okay? One message, okay, using the ICMP protocol will be sent from the first uh, computer to the second computer and that message is a ping to the second computer. So I go back, okay, the second computer got the message, understood it, and now it sends back another message. Okay, now the source, the the, the, the computer who sends is uh, with the 10002, this one. Okay, the destination is this other one, and this is a response uh, to the ping of the first computer, right? So here we've got, okay, the first computer sending ping to the second one, and a ping response was received, right? If I click, if I do this again, not pause, but ping. <laughs> If I ping again, I send, and then I receive. Right? It can do the same from the second one to the first one. Okay? If I come here to Network Diagnostics, and I write 10.0.0.1, let's move this, let's ping. So now I send the ping to 10.0.0.1, okay? and I receive it. If I write here, IP address that doesn't exist, okay, I, I get nothing, okay, I can do nothing because uh, no one gets 
that message, right? Before we finish this video, it is important to clarify one thing that we said on the previous one, right? Uh, these two computers can talk to each other, can directly talk to each other because they are directly connected and belong to the same network, okay? Belonging to the same network doesn't just mean that they are physically connected, okay? The IP addresses are important, right? As our network mask has three 255 numbers, okay? The first three numbers were 255. These two computers belong to the same network only because their IP addresses, okay, begin with the first three numbers, right? Not yet, not because they are directly connected with the cable. In order to see that that's true, if I edit this and I change, for example, this number, okay, and I set a one, I save. Now, if I try to make a ping from this computer to the other, it will be impossible, right? Okay, here, uh, no, cancel, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to network diagnostics. Okay, here. Now, from this one, I will try to ping the other one. It is impossible, right? Nothing happens. Why? Because this computer doesn't know how to talk to this one. Okay, because it says that they are not on the same uh, on the same uh, network. Right? Although being physically connected, they cannot talk to each other because their network masks says that they are not uh, on the same network, right? So in order to be able to talk to each other, we should change this back to a zero, save. And now, if I go to network diagnostics, I will be able to ping again, right? Okay, so being physically connected doesn't mean that they are on the same network, right? Apart from that, their network mask must say that they belong to the same network, okay? And in this case, if the network mask is 255, 255, 255, zero, that means that the first three numbers of their IP addresses must be the same. Now that we know how to, to do a ping between two computers on our simulator, okay, now the question is, can I do a real ping with my computer to a real computer? Yes, of course. You just have to open a command console, okay, right here and, and execute CMD. And here, if I write ping in an IP address, I will be able to send a ping to that IP address and get the answer back. For example, uh, I know that Google has a, a computer, a public computer, whose IP address is 8.8.8.8. .8 so if I say ping that IP address, okay, I will do this. My computer is sending a ping with this uh, to this uh, other computer, right? In fact, it is sending four pings, right? Each time we execute a ping command on our computer by, uh, by default, it sends four pings, okay? And my computer received four answers from this IP address. Uh, each message, okay, needed this time to go to that computer and come back to mine with the answer, okay? So I sent four messages and I received four messages, okay? If instead of writing an IP address, I write a domain, we will talk about domains later, okay? But if I, if I write 3w.google.com, uh, okay, it will do the same. It will send, right, uh, four pings to, uh, to the computer which is associated with this domain, okay, which has an IP address, okay, this domain is associated with this IP address, so my computer will send, okay, one, uh, four pings to this other computer with this IP address, okay, and I, I will receive the, the answer back, okay? Uh, you can say, okay, you have sent to a computer with this IP address, with this IP address, the first now uh, three numbers are different. How can you communicate uh, to them? How can you talk to them? Okay, because uh, there are ways 
to connect or to talk to computers which are located on different networks, right? We are going to talk about that later. Uh, what we have said up to this moment is that two computers cannot directly communicate if they don't belong to the same network, right? But we can indirectly communicate with computers on other networks, okay, uh, with routers, okay, that is something that we will see later, right? So, uh, that's it.